On this step, staying a step ahead, we find out the causes of some foot and ankle injuries. Plus, we learn exercises that will help the pain. Good morning. I'm Christine Gibbs from Estepad Physiotherapy in Governor Square. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Staying a Step Ahead. This month, I had a request to talk about ankle and foot injuries, which is something I see a lot of in the clinic. One of the most common things people come into the clinic about is heel pain. Often, they've done some research at home and Googled heel pain or gone on the internet, and they come up with a few different topics. One of them is plantar fasciitis. It's a structure that attaches onto your heel and goes down to the base of your toes. It is a supportive structure for the arch of your foot, kind of like a suspension bridge. It often gets injured with a lot of endurance type activities, such as running. That repetitive motion, constantly landing and flexing the foot can cause injury to this structure. Plantar fasciitis is often misdiagnosed or overdiagnosed. Not all pain that starts at the heel or goes into the arch, arch of your foot is plantar fasciitis. Patients often complain about pain in the morning. One of the best things to do is get out of bed and walk backwards. This will help relieve some of the symptoms in the morning. Another cause of heel pain is Achilles bursitis, or sometimes called retrocalcaneal bursitis. This is a bursa which is located between the heel and your Achilles tendon which comes down from your calf. A bursa is a fluid filled sac which offers cushion or, or lubrication to joints in the body. It can get irritated and cause a lot of heel pain at the back of the foot rather than the underside where plantar fasciitis often occurs. This can also be very painful with tight fitting shoes. The third major cause of heel pain is Achilles tendinopathy. That's when your calf, which is up here, comes down to a tight tendon right behind your ankle and attaches onto your heel. If that gets tight or irritated, it can cause a lot of heel pain as well. Achilles tendon problems often arise from overuse, such as running or a lot of jumping. They can also occur from chronically tight calves or trigger points in your calves. The tight calf up here can cause a lot of tension and just constantly pulls on that insertion on the heel. The last overuse injury I'd like to talk about comes from a muscle called your posterior tibialis. It starts in your calf and comes down behind your inner, inner ankle bone and then attaches onto the bottom of your foot. It is a huge stabilizer of your foot and also supports your arch. It can get chronically fatigued with, with long distance runners. Every time you run, it's constantly pulling down on that posterior tibialis muscle. Once it gets overused, you can have a flat foot and sometimes have pain underneath your arch or coming up behind your ankle bone. Sometimes people think this is, this is shin splints. The first thing I tell everybody with ankle or foot pain is to stretch your calf. The best way is off of a stair. Simply put the ball of your foot on the stair and then drop your heel down. Hold for 30 seconds and do not bounce. Then slightly bend your knee and repeat. If you just have time for one ankle exercise, I always recommend balance. The best thing is a BOSU ball. Simply standing with both feet and getting your balance. Now, the object is not to stand as still as possible, so try not to hold on to anything and try and self-correct. That will engage all your ankle stabilizers and your proprioceptors to get stronger and more stable. Now, if this is too easy, simply pick up one foot and try it with one. The other way to challenge your ankle stabilizers and proprioceptors is by using a TheraBand. If you put one ankle in, and you move away from the point of attachment, it will challenge the foot you're standing on. Look at how hard my left foot is working as I use the band to challenge my balance. My last tip for foot and ankle pain is a good supportive shoe. I love for my patients to wear a running shoe or an athletic sneaker while their symptoms calm down. If you still ha are having problems, I always recommend a custom orthotic where your foot is casted and a device is made to insert into your shoe where your foot sits on and it hugs the curves of your foot. Feet are our foundation. If you wear a good supportive shoe to support that foundation, you'll have a lot happier feet. If you're experiencing persistent foot and ankle pain, you may want to seek the help of a physio to determine the cause and how to treat it. No one should be in pain when simply trying to stay a step ahead. If you'd like to get in contact with Christine or the team at A Step Ahead Physiotherapy, you can give them a call at 745-ASAP, that's 745-2727. You can send them an email at to info at stepaheadphysio.com. And they also have a website, www.asteppaheadphysio.com as well. You can also stop by their offices at Governor's Square. Well, after the break, Monica has your news headlines. And later, I'll tell you what the rest of the week is shaping up. Weather-wise, stay with us. We'll be right back.